Well, we probably just picked, I don't know, 15 acres of beans. Kind of getting in the groove of it. I was going to take a video clip. And I needed to walk back for a wrench and to get a wagon to dump into. And I kind of heard a weird clicking noise coming from the dryer that I haven't heard before. Looked up, leg was running, everything looked fine, but round of the corner. Everything is not fine. So for a reason unbeknownst to us, the dry leg stopped taking corn. The belts are still on it. It didn't burn them off, so it must have kicked out for some reason. So it's gonna be fun. There we go. We got it pretty well shoveled out. And by pretty well, I mean, there's still like a third of the corn still needs to be shoveled. Put the door to the legs open and pretty certain there's a motor on top of the big bin over there that went out. So I plugged it all the way back until that. He's up there resetting the motor. Oh, that's a relief. It's running. Now we can shovel that corn back into the leg and put it in there and set it to the tractor. There's the culprit right up there. Let's see if I can. We uh, wrestled the motor off the top of that. Because it don't move and the breaker keeps tripping and it's got a little snow to it. This is a 650 bushel wagon. Yikes. plenty of corn over there but we're hoping we can just shovel that into the leg now that the leg's going so we don't have to haul it into the wagon so yeah we're gonna get to work beans are going well now it was going well and then all of a sudden i stumbled into that so kind of a gloomy morning for beans so we got that motor back up here that caused us all that trouble and uh ended up plugging the whole leg Only bad thing is uh, we didn't have a spare belt, so we got one new belt and they had to order two more in for us. So we're not doing corn anyways, we just need to make sure this is going to empty out. Well that worked. One belt and one older belt. Like I say, we're not running corn, so before we run corn we'll get the three brand new belts on there. And uh, should be back in shape. Probably going to be another hour or two before we're able to pick beans anyways, so might uh, shuffle some wagons out there semis out there and hopefully when we can go this afternoon we'll have a lot of stuff to dump into they're talking a little bit of rain tomorrow so we might not be able to go tomorrow i think it's about seven o'clock at night we started around one by the time they finally got fit enough to try them uh they're definitely getting tough again the wind died off we haven't had much wind in the last few days but I just realized i didn't take any video but i'd say in the last what is that six hours we've got about 80 acres um but yeah, it's not gonna be much longer here. They took the rain chances away for the morning, but you know how that goes. You will be able to go again tomorrow. Uh, it'd be nice to have a couple more days and we should be able to get the beans done if we get some wind in the morning and some sunshine, but we'll see how Mother Nature cooperates. There's some balloons out there. Just switching fields here, so I'm getting the truck turned around, pointed outwards. I got a pretty good part, so I'll probably end up loading the truck so it's ready when he comes back with the one wagon. Our one truck needed service, so they uh, just finished that today. Couldn't get the part, but now we got it. But with beans, it, you know, we haven't been in too much of a pinch where we miss it, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna load this truck so it's ready to go. And then I'm gonna go walk back to the air combine and bring it on over here and keep the party rolling. Here's a view you guys don't see much of. I enjoy running cart. It's kind of like fast paced and whatnot in corn. Can be with two combines and beans, but uh, I don't get to do it a whole lot. They're usually them in the combine and I enjoy that a lot too. So get this truck loaded and get that other machine going again here. There's a little note on it. It's a uh, happy birthday letter to great Gabriel or Bella. Probably Bella with the hair. Happy birthday. We're still fighting the green stem beans. You can even actually see a few green leaves in this area, but uh, this is a 25 foot head with a Carrera Air Reel. Uh, it works very nicely, especially in the short beans over the sandy hills. But uh, the one thing I don't like to do is when you go along the edge of the field, you tend to pull in some weeds and grass and whatnot. And uh, this head's a pretty good match for this combine, especially with the green stem beans. 
So something I've been doing the last couple of years is I'll go around and leave about 15, 20 feet, depending on how tough things are. And then I'll uh, come back on my second lap and clean that up. So that way I don't have to pull a full head width of beans plus the grasses and worry about slugging the combine. Something different. Some people are gonna make fun of me, but it works for us. That other machine with a 20 foot head, usually if we're working together, he sails around the field very nicely with that. And then, uh, or whoever's in that machine that day, and then I'll come second. But uh, I don't know. We're a lot of chopped up little fields here, so we're just kind of on our own right next to each other, but in separate little fields. It's a party out here now. That combine broke a chain or the chain fell off. It helps drive the feeder house. They just got the new one. Now they got to try to cut it to length and put it in there, but I figured I'm going to keep on going along. We got our other truck back. We're close to the shop that fixed it. They're going to go get the trailer and bring that on back. There's a slight wind yet, so we're still going. It's getting tough. Right after I took that video, the beans started coming up and over the top of the auger. They want to wrap, but I haven't plugged it, but uh, I don't know if the camera picks it up. I got a broken guard and a sectional. I've been lucky. I haven't broke one in the last two, three days. The other machines broke a few, but I've been lucky. It's my turn. Actually, this is my first guard of the year that broke too. Well, let's get to it. So it's pretty simple. This comes off. See, it's broken. Needs that upper part. It's not over there anymore. And then the, this is what the head is actually sliding on in the ground. That comes out with those bolts. So now we'll just take a punch and a hammer, pound those out, put new bolts in, new section in, put the new guard on, and we should be back in business. And there we go. We scratched up enough for the second semi. It was getting kind of tough. Wind dropped off and uh, went later than we've went all season. We haven't had much like overnight wind this season, but uh, might make get a little rain tonight. We'll see. And then they're not calling for any sunshine until like three o'clock in the afternoon and almost no wind all day. So I don't know about tomorrow. We're rolling back into the farm here. Looks like the tillage crew already called it a night. And uh, we are as well here. <laughs> 